Hey there, me again. Uh, so I got this lovely email from Carol Richardson and Carol says that uh, my principal passed on your lovely Outlook calendar with terms and weeks. Thank you. She then cleverly added A and B as we work on A week and B week. But I had already imported it. I cried. What can I do to delete the first import and import it again? Thank you so much. Okay, so people can uh, make mistakes when they import. Uh, different CSV files into their calendar. They can end up with duplicates, they can end up with all sorts of issues, but you can fix it up and I'll show you very quickly how you can go about doing that. And then once you've cleaned up your calendar, removed all of those entries, um, remembering there were 74 of them, so you don't want to do them one at a time, uh, you can clean them all up and then you can re-import a clean version of the file that you want imported. So you're ready for that 2022 year. So how do you do it? Let's uh, put that away. Here I am in my calendar uh, and I'm looking at today. It's still the school holidays. Uh, next week we're jumping into term four, week one and so on. But somebody imported the 2022 calendar wrong and they want to do it again. This is how you can fix it. You go into the view tab up the top here and you change the view to something called list. And when you do that, you then have a list of all of the uh, entries that are in your calendar. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see um, they increase in date. But the other thing that you can do is uh, if you click on this start button to turn it so the arrow is pointing down, back at the top of the list, what you'll end up with is all of those new imports that you did and they may be duplicated, they could be um, multiple copies of the same things and you just want to get rid of them. So what do you do? You click on the first one, you scroll down until the first one from 2022, which in this case is uh, New Year's Day, and you hit the shift key and then you hold the shift key down and then you click on that one and that selects all of those dates. And then it's just a matter of pressing the delete key they will all be deleted in one go and then you can go back and import that file that you want to import so it's uh, got the right dates for you and not duplicated. Hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video.